Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Robert's Sports Show. I'm your host, Robert. All right, AFC NFC Conference Weekend Preview. Two huge games on Sunday as we get down to the final four in the NFL postseason. Um, yeah, last week, wow. Um, I was one in three on picks. Um, I'm not going to share coat that at all. I was one in three against the spread, two and two on the over under. Um, there's no share coat in that crap. Uh, three of the four hundred dog teams won. I, I mean, I don't know how many people picked Cincinnati to upset Tennessee. I didn't. Um, field goal game. Sam Fran to upset Green Bay and Green Bay. Aaron Rodgers, Tennessee, Green Bay and Tennessee both first round buys. They're out first game. Um, Tom Brady out by Matthew Stafford. I mean, there's so many unknowns here and just craziness going on. Wow. I mean, <laughs> what can you say? In the playoffs, stri- overall in the playoffs, I'm 5-5 five and five straight up picks. 4-6 and six on the over-under and 7-3 against the spread. 16-14. and 14. Let's see what happens in the conference, conference finals. Um, I know I'm actually picking one upset. Uh, apparently, if you look behind me, you know it's not that game. <laughs> um, so, first game, we have the AFC uh, Conference Finals. We have the four-seed Cincinnati Bengals, who were 10-7 in the regular season. Against the two seed Kansas City Chiefs, 12 and 5. On the in the playoffs so far, Cincinnati beat the Raiders 26-19. They beat Tennessee 19-16. While the Chiefs have scored 42 points each game, beat Pittsburgh 42-21, beat Buffalo 42-36. I am going to touch on the playoff rule. Um, even though I am a Kansas City Chiefs fan, even though the Chiefs won, um, the NFL playoff rule needs to change. Um, both teams need possession because that, I mean, that was a flip of a coin of what could have happened there. Like with the CFL, make it sudden death after each team gets the ball. So in this game, the Chiefs get the ball, they score a touchdown. They kick a field goal or go for a two-point conversion. Then Buffalo gets the ball. If they score a touchdown, kick, kick an extra point, it's tied, then sudden death. But both teams need to at least touch the ball. Um... That oh, wasn't fair to Buffalo. Josh Allen played great. Buffalo is a good team. It, just, it just wasn't fair. Um, so Cincinnati, they barely got by Tennessee. Last minute field goal. I mean, it is what it is, I guess, for uh, Tennessee. But again, next year, I guess. But ten- Cincinnati was three and two against Tennessee in their last five games. So. But yeah, so Tennessee, this, or sorry, Cincinnati, this is their third AFC title game. Um, 81 and 98, or 88, 81 and 88, they were 2 0. Kansas City, this is their fifth AFC title game, four straight. Um, 93, 2018, 2019, 2020, the 2021 22 season. Four straight AFC Conference Finals in Kansas City. Patrick Mahomes' entire career started as a starter. So his rookie season, he started one game, and when he's been a full-time starter, he's made it to the conference finals. It's amazing. Joe Burrow, Joe Mixon, Jamar Chase, the three-headed monster there in Cincinnati. Patrick Mahomes, Tyreek Hill, Travis Kelsey, the three-headed monster in in, uh, Kansas City. Week 17, Cincinnati beat Kansas City 34-31. All-time, Cincinnati is 16-14 versus Kansas City. In Kansas City, they're seven and nine. Cincinnati is. Now in the wild card week, the home team won five or six games. In the division week, the home team won one of three games. Kansas City is the only team, only home team to win last week. They're at home this week. If you look at Joe Burrow, he's the four thousand six hundred eleven yards this year. 34 touchdowns, 14 interceptions. Patrick Mahomes, 4,839 yards, 37 touchdowns, 13 interceptions. Pretty close. Joe Mixon has ran for 1,200 yards this year with 13 touchdowns. The leading rusher for Kansas City is Daryl Williams, 558 yards, 6 touchdowns. Receiving, Jamar Chase, 81 for 1,450, 13 touchdowns. Tyreek Hill, 111 catches, 1,239 yards, 9 touchdowns. Travis Kelsey, 92 for uh, 1,125 yards, 7 touchdowns. 
while CJ Uzma was 49 for 453, five touchdowns. To me, what this all narrows down to is if Cincinnati wants to stop Kansas City, they got to stop the passing game. When you got Patrick Mahomes, you got Tyreek Hill, you got Travis Kelsey, that is very hard to do. Um, Kansas City has not been great at running the football. Now, for Cincinnati, Kansas City needs, their defense needs to double team Jamar Chase and stop Joe Mixon. That's your keys to winning. <laughs> um, I think it's going to be a little easier said than done. But right now, the line in this game is Kansas City by 7 with an over under of 53.5. Um, on the road this year, Cincinnati is 5 and 3 in the regular season. They are 2 and 0 in the postseason. Kansas City, though, at home is 7 and 2 in the regular season, 2 and 0 in the postseason. Um, apparently, based on that, you really think I'm not picking them. Kansas City. I got them winning. I got Cincinnati covering the seven, and then over on the 53 and a half. I think there's going to be some points scored here. So I got Kansas City Chiefs as the AFC representative in the Super Bowl. Now, on the other side, we have the six seed San Francisco 49ers here 10 and seven. The four seed Los Angeles Rams here 12 and five. You would think, because I am in Missouri, that I would want the Rams to be there as well because they were in St. Louis. I'd actually been to a few handful of Rams games in St. Louis before they moved back to L.A. Hey, my Rams fan, yeah. I mean, I want to see them do well. I just, when I do my picks, I look at a lot of different factors, and this one's it's hard to look overlook some of this stuff. So this year, the 49ers in the regular season are 6-3 and three on the road. They're 2-4 and four versus the NFC West. The Rams, 5-3 and three at home. Okay. They're 3-3 three three versus the division. Now, the two playoff games, San Fran beat Dallas 23-17. They beat Green Bay 13-10. While the Rams beat Arizona 34-11 and Tampa Bay 30-27. In NFC title games, San Fran is 7-9, while the Rams are 4-6. What I mean is kind of tough, some of these picks. So, in Week 10, San Francisco beat the Rams 31-10. In week 18, San Francisco beat the Rams 27-24 in overtime. The 49ers have beat the Rams six straight games. Overall, in their career in this rivalry, obviously the same friend, the Rams were in L.A. The Rams moved to St. Louis and back to L.A. This has been an NFC West rival for a long time. The 49ers are 75-67-3. They beat them six straight, the 49ers have. The 49ers in the last 20 games versus the Rams are 13-6-1. I mean, I know Jimmy G, some people don't like him because he is a former Belichick guy. They got one of the, top, one of the I say one of the top 10 tight ends in the league in George Kittle. D, Debo Samuel, 14 yards rushing, six touchdowns. Or, or receiving. Well, I know the Rams got Cooper Cooper Cup, 145 catches, almost 2,000 yards, 16 touchdowns. But the fact that the 49ers have been so good against the Rams lately, yeah, I mean the Rams could host the NFC title game here and win, and then host the Super Bowl as well. I don't think any team's ever done that. I thought I'd seen that stat out there. Much as I'm not a fan of it. The line of this game is the Rams by three and a half. I got to give the three and a half to San Fran. I got the 49ers winning, covering the three and a half, and under on the 46 and a half. So I have a Super Bowl of the Kansas City Chiefs and the San Francisco 49ers. Obviously, early prediction of that would be Kansas City winning. I think if it's the Rams and the Chiefs, I may have to lean toward the Rams. Uh, I think if it's the Bengals and the Rams, leaning toward the Rams, 49ers and Bengals, if that would be the Super Bowl. Ooh, partly for the Bengals on that one. But uh, right now I'm picking Kansas City and San Francisco. So that's going to wrap up the AFC-NFC Conference Finals here on Robert's Ford Show. Stay tuned for the Super Bowl preview. If you are a pro wrestling fan, check out the Game Changer stuff i got put up here lately. And then NASCAR fan, I'm still working to get everything caught up on the NASCAR videos as we count down to the 2022 Daytona 500. 
Um, now, the week before the Super Bowl, we have the Bush Light Clash at the Coliseum. Yes, NASCAR in the LA Coliseum, along with NBC, paved the infield, uh, paved the inside of the LA Coliseum to run a NASCAR race on the quarter mile asphalt track. It's intriguing. Don't say I want to like it. Don't say I want to hate it. It's intriguing. But it's cool that it's in L.A. the week before the Super Bowl, the week after the conference finals are in L.A. So, all right. I'm just going to wrap up Robert Ford Show. Don't just have a great day. Have a spiffy day. Robert Ford Show, your YouTube leader in sports talent content.